hello friends so today we're going to discuss another problem from lead code which is a hard problem on bit manipulation the problem name is maximum score words formed by letters so it states that you are given a word list and some letters and the score of each letter so in simple terms you are given some letters or actually words and there are certain letters you can use so as you can see some letters are repeated which means that you can also use these wrappers like you can only use a but you can use a two times what i mean by this is you can assume that this is a bag okay which consists of two times a one times c two times or like three times d and so on now you can only use these letters and the score you can get to use a is one so if you again use a you will also get again one the score to use c is 9 the score for using d only once is 5 and so on now you can only use these letters and you have to form some of these words such that you have to maximize the score what in simple terms as you can see in the example for the first for the first example because you have one word like one like a give you a score of 1 c give you a score of 9 d give you a score of 5 and so on now if you form the word dad you require 2d and 1a which you have and for forming the word good you need 1g 2o's and one more d and because you have 2d's you can also find to do this out now you cannot make dog like though you can make dog dog but now you do not have one more d i hope you get the point so you have to only use these words only once or like you can assume this to be a bag and you can only use or take out these words so it means that you have two a's whatever word you can fit in inside so that you have to form some words so that you have to maximize the total score you have and that's the whole problem now uh, what you can see in this problem is the constraints the word length is 15 14 whenever you see that the number of words the word length which means that the length of the array of these words is up to 14 whenever you see like up to like 20 something like that then you can easily do this in like in by forming out all the subsets which means that because you can form out sorry you can use different subsets now because you can form out that okay let's zoom in one case i i only form this word or i form this and this word i form this and this word this word and this three words so you have to first take that that i have to form different subsets and because the length is very small so in bit manipulation in simple integer format you have 32 bits okay but in simple terms that in 32 bits like you can do your operations like in o of n you can do it to, 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 like 2 to the power 20 also which is also like smaller now so what you can simply do in this problem is sorry because the constraints are small what you can easily do here is iterate over all the possible subsets so what you can do here is if you know that or actually you know that how to iterate over every possible subset uh, in simple terms you can use bit manipulation so i'll tell you in simple terms yeah so as you can see what we can do in simple terms is i draw it out first so let's assume that i have some words let's this is the first word second word third word and so on then because there are three words i will define this by a three bit number a, a three bit number the maximum three bit number is one 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 which is equivalent to eight or sorry like two to the power of zero plus two to the power of one two to the power of two which is equivalent to seven okay now what you can easily do in this problem is iterate over all the possible numbers from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now every number will represent one subset that's the whole beauty of this bit manipulation so what you can think over here is like one is like this which means that i am taking out this sub uh, i am creating a subset which consists of only this third number like this third word the next can be two which is like one this which means i'm taking a subset of only two the three is 
this which means that i'm taking out a subset of this this and not this this is actually the bit representation of three like this number like zero one one so that's what i'm doing i'm representing or taking all the numbers from one till seven and representing in in its bit representation and then finding out whether the like the particular bit is on or off if it is on then take that number or take that word in our subset then if you have taken like okay i'm taking out these two words then what we'll do we have to ensure that whatever characters these two words have we should have in the bucket we have or the like the set we have so we'll what we'll do whatever words we have taken we'll find out the frequency or the or like the number of characters we have in these words so we will make a frequency map and store out all the words which we have taken in the subset find out the frequency and store them in this map and we also have the frequency for every word we have here also so we'll just match out that whatever frequency we have in this bucket we have and the number of words or characters we required it should be less than or equal to the bucket characters we have like everything should be satisfied okay maybe it has some z and it doesn't have set then it is false or if it, it has one z it has three z's then it is fine because like my bucket has three z and i only required one z so it's fine but it should not overshoot or it should not be deficient if it is if it is possible then it's okay and if it is okay then this subset is possible if this subset is possible then what we'll do we'll iterate over every character and then the total score will be that okay these number of characters are required so the score is this character and the particular character value so i have used three a's the total value we have used is three into the value of a so the value of a is let's assume that uh, capital a capital a is the score for a so we have also the scores for every character so the final answer is how many times we have used the particular character and the score for that character and we have to add them out and then we have to maximize that value over all the possible subsets i hope you understand the like somewhat the logic part we'll go through the code part now to even make it more clear so what we'll do first here is we have this bucket of different characters we have so we'll first like make a frequency map to store out the frequency of these so that we can easily match them out further in the code so we'll iterate over every possible letters it is stored in this vector and then just making a frequency map that how many times a is present b is present and so on and just updating it out so that in this frequency map f at the position 0 we have how many a's are there at the position 1 how many b's are there and so on in this bucket we have then we have to maximize my answer initialize is 0 then as you can see we have to find out that we have to iterate over all the possible subsets so if we have let's assume that 5 numbers then i have to make a maximum number which has 5 bits how we can form that if i left shift 1 by 5 positions which means that i have left shifted 1 by 5 position then i will actually get a number which is having 5 bits and that's the number we have to iterate over so that's what we have done we have left shift this by 5 numbers then we have to iterate from 1 till all these numbers and then it actually represent all the subsets then for every subset what we'll do we have to make a frequency map which stores that how many different like how many characters each word have so we'll iterate over every word and we'll check that whether this particular word is in the subset we are talking about so we'll do an and operation to check that whether this particular word is in the subset we're talking about so we'll do an, so if the word is in the subset then the particular bit is on so what i mean by this is if some particular word is in the subset the the corresponding bit should be on one so we are checking that particular bit is on if it is on then we'll iterate over the word and for that particular word we'll find out what are the characters present in that word and we will update this in this capital F frequency map. So after that, we have two frequency map. One is the frequency map for the particular words we have, and one frequency map which is actually storing out all the characters which we have now after iterating or after using one subset. Then we have to check that whether the particular words we have used is like sufficient to satisfied like they can be easily satisfied by the bucket we have 
and then we'll iterate over all the possible characters and we just have to check that whether the number of words we have it should be greater than or equal to the particular character we want if it is fine then if they are not greater then we have to make them false which means that like we don't have to, or we do not get we like we cannot take this subset because this is not valid if it is valid if the flag is true then what we'll do which means that my bucket is sufficient enough to make out these words which we have taken in the subset will iterate over all the port like possible characters and the total score is the character particular character score into how much that character is present and we will add it over all the possible characters and we have to maximize my answer in the end we have to just output the maximum i hope you understand the logic and the code part for this problem if you still have any doubts you can mention on i'll see you in the next one till then keep coding and bye